our extreme drought is hurting the bottom line for farmers. And now your Christmas tree could be in jeopardy. Nine News reporter Bryce Onslinger in the newsroom with how a lack of rain could affect your holiday tradition. Bryce? Well, Clyde, for Christmas tree farmers, a good crop of trees takes years to cultivate. But now a lack of rain is putting all that work at risk of being wasted. And finding a good tree for the family this holiday season could be harder than normal. So that's about a gallon per hour until the tanks are empty about five hours from now. Roger Cook has been selling Christmas trees for 12 years. He started the business to help get his kids through college. We have not had a decent rain right here where I am since the last part of May. Cook says his field near Oxford has seen just three quarters of an inch of rain in the past two months. Not enough to keep many small trees from dying. He's lost 40% of his newly planted trees this summer and he expects his gross income to be down 50% this year. This year, prior to the drought, was going to be our best year in 12 years, believe it or not. And now this year is probably going to be our worst because my best crop of conifers that I'm standing amongst right now, I'm not going to be able to sell. Cook says once a conifer limb goes brown, it's not coming back. He says he can cut the brown off of some of the trees, but if he doesn't get rain soon, the entire tree is at risk of dying. I can cut this out, and then I have to wait a year or two for these other branches to fill in. So I, I've lost a marketable tree uh, at least for two years. Cook says he'll most likely bring in trees from North Carolina to supplement what he grows on his field, but that will cost him money. And he says his customers don't like buying pre-cut trees because they come to his farm for the experience of finding their tree and cutting it down themselves. And Cook says the only drought situation he remembers similar to this year's was in 2007. But he says this year's is worse because it rained in the later part of the summer in 2007. And this year he's still waiting. But Clyde, the good news is, looks like those rain showers are headed his way. Looks that way. Let's hope it's enough, Bryce. Thanks.